Pursued by Ramsey's men and hounds, Theon and Sansa cross the river and take shelter, but their scent is picked up by the hounds. Theon urges Sansa to flee to her half-brother Jon Snow at Castle Black while he holds them off, but they see through his ruse and find Sansa. Brienne of Tarth and Podrick Payne arrive to fight the Bolton soldiers, and Theon kills the last one, saving Podrick's life. He witnesses Brienne pledge her service to Sansa, which this time she accepts. As Brienne talks with Sansa, Theon overhears that she crossed paths with Arya, Sansa's sister, while gathering wood to help Podrick start a fire. Theon is wary of the fire, since it may alert Ramsay or his men. Sansa and Brienne decide to head to Castle Black to get to Jon, who will protect them from Ramsay, and though Sansa promises to tell Jon the truth about Bran and Rickon, Theon believes that Jon will still kill him for betraying Rob, executing Roderick Castle, and slaughtering Jack and Billy. Theon claims he does not want to be forgiven, even by joining the Night's Watch, and instead decides to return home, knowing that Sansa will be safer with Brienne and Podrick. Before his departure though, Sansa embraces Theon in gratitude for helping her escape Ramsay. Theon arrives at the Iron Islands and receives a harsh reception from Yara, who is still angry with him for refusing to be rescued from the Dreadfort, saying good men were lost that night. Weeping, he apologizes several times, but she doesn't want to hear it. She accuses him of trying to take advantage of their father's murder to become King of Pike. Theon vehemently denies this, saying he had no idea Balan was dead until he arrived. She demands to know what he wants, and he says she deserves to be the ruler of Pike and he will support her claim to the Salt Throne. During the King's moot, Theon stands before his fellow Ironborn when it is his turn to speak. Though he is visibly nervous, most likely because of his role in the surrender of Moat Kaelin, he openly declares his support for Yara's claim to the Salt Throne, stating that she is a warrior, a reaver, and most importantly Ironborn. Choking back tears as he swallows what little pride he has left, Theon concludes, this is our queen. Though his words prompt many men to declare their support for Yara, they are soon challenged by their uncle Euron Greyjoy, who condescendingly pats Theon on the cheek as Ramsay once did before belittling him for his past defeats and emasculation. Yara then accuses Euron of murdering their father. To their surprise, Euron admits to murdering Balan but claims that he did it because he was leading them to defeat and apologizes for not doing it years ago. Theon counters that would have been hard to do as Euron was off gallivanting on the high seas and having a grand old time, prompting his uncle to once again bring up his emasculation. Theon ignores his uncle's insult and reminds everyone that Euron had left, and meanwhile, Yara was leading ironborn ships and men in battle. When Yara proposes building a massive fleet to conquer the mainland, Euron counters by offering to seal an alliance with Daenerys Targaryen in order to defeat the mainland lords. The crowd then elects Euron to be their next king. While Euron is being baptized by Aaron, Theon, his sister, and their supporters flee to Essos on the best ships in the Iron Fleet, knowing that Euron will kill them in order to cement his claim. Theon and Yara take the Iron Fleet to Volantis to hide and rest. While sheltering in Volantis, Theon and his sister visit a bar where the Ironborn are entertained by prostitutes. Theon is still traumatized by his ordeal with Ramsay and is also troubled by his guilt over his role in the deaths of the orphan boys. He also has little interest in the prostitutes and ale. Yara urges her brother to regain his self-confidence since she needs his help to travel to Slaver's Bay and secure an alliance with Daenerys. Yara plans to return to the Iron Islands and seek revenge against Euron but tells Theon that if he's irreparably broken, he should kill himself and be done with it but if he wishes to journey with her to Marine, she needs the real Theon Greyjoy. At that moment, Theon fiercely locks eyes with Yara, a gaze reminiscent of his former, iron-born self. Pleased that Theon's old personality is resurfacing, she kisses him on the forehead and proceeds to go bed the prostitute she was fondling earlier. Following the second siege of Marine, Theon and Yara meet with Daenerys and Tyrion Lannister who recognizes Theon from his visit to Winterfell years ago. Tyrion reminds Theon of how he teased the dwarf about his height and sees this as unbecoming of a noble, which Theon acknowledges was long ago. When Tyrion informs Daenerys about Theon's alleged role in the deaths of Bran and Rickon Stark, Theon insists that he did not, but he did commit other crimes, which he has paid for. Theon explains to Daenerys that Euron murdered their father, usurped the salt throne and would have killed them too had they not fled. He offers to provide Daenerys with a hundred ships in return for helping them eliminate Euron and recognizing the independence of the Iron Islands, 
on the basis that if Daenerys refuses them and accepts Euron's offer, Euron will kill her and rule the Seven Kingdoms himself, though Theon makes it clear that it is to support Yara's claim and not his, deeming himself unfit to rule, to Daenerys's surprise. Daenerys agrees to their terms in return that the Ironborn cease raiding, pillaging, and raping the mainlanders. Yara is reluctant at first but assents to the agreement when Theon gives her a nod. Some time later, Theon and Yara begin the voyage back to Westeros with Daenerys and her retinue, along with the Iron Fleet, the Dothraki, the Unsullied and the armies of House Tyrell and Dawn, with Ilaria Sand and Olena Tyrell having heard of Theon and Yara's actions and followed them in declaring for Daenerys.